All right, you guys, here's what I'm having for dinner. Just wanted to show you my real quick um, seven layer dip, if you will, a version, a vegan version of seven layer dip. I'm not too hungry tonight, so I'm just gonna have a snack for dinner instead. Um, and I'm gonna pair this with some spring mix, which I'm going to actually grab that right now before I forget from Aldi here. So what I do is I just put my spring mix in a bowl from Aldi. This is really good stuff. This huge container, you guys, is like $2.99, I think, at Aldi. And then a lot of the ingredients I got at Aldi as well. So I just go something like this. So it's kind of going to be like a, oh gosh, that's a little bit too much on guys. <laughs> um, you know, like a taco salad-esque with seven layer dip and chip, and then I'll just stick everything on the Goodness gracious, some hot mess, you guys. Um, salad here, and so yeah, that's what I'm gonna have. Uh, just wanted to show you guys what um, all is involved in the seven layer dip. I had these Catamala olives that I got from Aldi. They're actually really good. Um, just some regular Frank's Red Hot sauce here. Let me see. Um, I did my pepper rings and did some fresh avocado and these organic cherry tomatoes here and what else what else did i do oh some fresh cilantro all right i'm back figured it'd be easier to grab all the ingredients so so speaking of, um, this is the seven layer vegan dip again. Uh, so what I did is I put this Kite Hill. This is the cheese that I tell you guys all the time about. I absolutely love this for any kind of um, either cheese sauce substitute or even it's great for dips. And you can kind of add things to it to bulk it up if you want. But I love this stuff. It's just super rich and creamy. Let's see if I can open it with one hand here. Of course I can't. Of all the other things I can do one-handed. <laughs> oh, gracious, you guys. Okay, so, like I said, going on, I guess. So, it, it looks something like this. I kind of messed it all up in there, but it's really, really creamy consistency, and it's really yummy. So, that's what I use a ton on my bagels, if I have any occasionally vegan bagel version. Um, or any kind of spreads for my pita sandwiches. Um, makes great for like uh, if you make flatbreads as a base and do like a bruschetta with this as the base. Yummy. Um, and then, like I said, we already mentioned the Catamala olives, the pepper rings. These are cherry tomatoes. So just cut, cut them up. Um, then I just do my hot sauce. And then I had some public salsa left in my fridge there. And I did some green onion that I kind kind of minced up. So yeah, and then I just put some granulated garlic, some pink Himalayan sea salt, and that's the finished product. So excited to dive right in on in here for some dinner slash snack. Um, yeah, and uh, also can't forget some fresh cilantro. So there you have it. That's what um, vegan looks like, if you will, for those of you who were kind of curious to find. Um, I know this is a great idea, too, for those of you who are into Super Bowl um, or football fans out there like ourselves in our household. We're huge football fans. So this is like a staple go-to for around this time of year. So if I ever entertain or have people over, I'll make this all the time and people don't even know that it's vegan or plant-based, whatever you want to call it. So, and it's really delicious. So, just thought I'd throw it out there. So you can't eat clean, even on uh, Super Bowl food and tailgating food. So, all right, you guys. Well, I'm brought, ready to chomp down on this yumminess, and I'll catch y'all later. So, happy halls, y'all, and talk to y'all later. Bye.